welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Joanne and today I have a Target Kids Easter Basket idea for you guys. So I'm going to take you guys into Target and I'm going to show you guys a, a bunch of different Easter Basket ideas for kids. Now I did have an intro and outro already filmed for this video but I on accident deleted it. I don't know how. I try to get it back and I just cannot. So I didn't want the video just to jump right into this Easter Basket idea. So I wanted to have a proper intro and a proper outro. So this is going to be a Target Easter Basket idea for kids. Um, I'm going to be going in to the Target dollar spot and also I am going to go to the back of the store and show you guys a few more options in the back, like the back wall they always have stuff. Um, and then also like in the middle of the store I found some clearance toys and also bathing suits. So this is going to be a Target Easter Basket idea for kids. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. All right, you guys, so I'm going to be doing a voiceover for this video just because there were so many people in the store. So I'm starting off in the dollar spot. I'm showing you guys these cute little pads. They were $3. They had a bunch of paper in there if your kids are like mine. My son loves to draw and doodle and just write lists. So they had a ton of paper in there. And then they also had these stuffed animals for $5. I am going to show you some larger ones that were in the back of the store. But like I said, I am starting off here in the dollar spot. All these little kits were about $5. I don't think any of them were more than $5. I might have found one that was like maybe 7 but I'm pretty sure they were all around $5. And I think these are all really cute finger puppet sets and just like play sets. They also had the springtime little puzzle kit. They had some wooden toys. So a lot of different things for the Easter baskets for little ones. There were different age groups. So if you had like babies or younger toddlers, they did have options for them. And then they also had options for older kids. I've never bought these chalk rollers for my kids. If you guys have used them, let me know. I was thinking about getting this for the kids Easter basket, but it comes in a pack of two and it comes with two different colors and there were a few different boxes you can choose from for like different colors and I thought that was really cool. And I'm still going to be showing you guys a lot of stuff to garden. So if your kids like to garden or help you garden, these are awesome little things to put in your basket. And then of course books. I always include books in my kids Easter baskets. I think it's a really great thing to add to their basket. Help them learn how to read if they're too young to talk or read yet you can read to them my kids have always loved books also socks these socks were only a dollar each and they had a ton to choose from then of course a basket if you guys need new baskets all these baskets were only three dollars which i thought was a really great deal i am going to show you guys larger more expensive baskets in the back of the store but if you want more of an affordable one these were only three dollars also they had some slime and like putty i try not to get this for the kids because it makes a huge mess and madison puts everything in her mouth but if you have older kids that are more responsible those are really great as well as these little light up wands madison loves these these are great for babies and little ones and also these little bouncy balls all these little packs i'm showing you guys are great for classrooms if you guys are making some bags for a classroom or maybe you're having a little get together brunch lunch for easter and there's kids you can definitely make those for the kids and it comes in a huge pack so definitely a lot of things to choose from they also had these little toys that grow i think you put them in the water and they're supposed to grow larger kids love that my son loves that as well and then i found these little coloring books and some of them were scented which i thought was really cool and they had a few different ones to choose from these pads i also really like they're only a dollar i usually buy them for myself to write like my list but my son like i said he likes to write his own list and to do list so those are really cool to add to their baskets as well and then these gel clings i buy these for each little holiday they're just super fun for kids to put on the window or maybe if you're traveling these are great options for like road trips so they can use on the windows whether it's in the airplane or in the car and then of course chalk i think i put chalk in my kids easter basket every year but they really love chalk and bubbles so those are two things i usually always put in their baskets
these little wooden um, sets are really cool. You pretty much build it yourself and there's a few different to choose from i actually bought something like this from i think home depot for ryan and it was a good dinosaur one but it was much more expensive so definitely gonna grab a few of those those are really cool they also have these little cubes that you have to like match all the colors together i'm never good at these things but i think it's fun for kids to try and do it distracts them for a while and then all these wooden cars are only a dollar they have a ton to choose from they have like trains police cars ice cream trucks it'll go well with all those puppet stuff that they had they had feel like wooden houses as well so definitely these are great options i know i'm repeating myself a million times but i just feel like so many things here in a dollar spot are so affordable and they're really great options for little ones and like i said they have options for babies toddlers and older kids these squishy little toys is great for sensory especially for my daughter she does a lot of sensory and therapy so stuff like this is really great for her So I also like to try and add educational stuff into my kids' baskets. And the Dr. Seuss theme has a few things that are educational as well as like markers, crayons, and pencils you can throw in their baskets. But I'm going to show you guys some flashcards that they do have that you can add into their baskets. They also have this little book that I want to get. I did not grab, but definitely going to grab it next time where they can pretty much make their own story. My son loves to make his own stories. So I think it's great for their imagination. So putting educational stuff in the kids' baskets is always a plus. So this is the little book that I was telling you guys it's like a journal and they can pretty much create their own story and that was only three dollars If your kids aren't into art, they have a ton of art things to choose from. They have stuff that they can paint, they can color, they have coloring books, they have craft books. Like, I don't think they had this many options last year as far as like crafts. This year, there's so many different craft stuff that you can choose from. And they also have these little pillows they can put their tooth in if they're about to lose a tooth. I bought one of these for the kids a few months back when I saw them and now they brought them back. So basically, they can color that pillow and in the back, just like a little pocket, they can put their tooth in. I don't know what it is with band-aids and kids but kids love band-aids we go through band-aids a lot even when my son is not hurt he needs a band-aid for some reason so they had a few different band-aid boxes you can choose from and those were a dollar these play in packs are really fun as well especially if you are traveling these are things that i always buy when we travel but these are perfect little gifts to put in the easter baskets as well because it does come with coloring books stickers and crayons 
sunglasses spring and summer are around the corner so you can guys can get some sunglasses for your little ones they have for both boys and girls I also thought putting an umbrella in their HD basket would be really fun. Anytime it likes to rain, Ryan likes to use his own umbrella. So letting the kids have their own umbrella, I think is really fun. And they only had Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse at my Target. I'm not sure if your Target maybe has more characters, but mine only had those two options, but they were still really cute. So over here is all of the gardening and outdoor stuff for kids. My kids love to be outside, especially during spring and summer. So there's a ton of different activities they can do. They have stuff to garden. Like I said, the kids can have like their own shovel and gloves and like little pots to plant things. And they also have activities where you guys can give the kids the little worksheet and they have to find specific things outside, which is super fun. I bought stuff like this for the kids last year and they absolutely loved it. They're only a dollar, those little packs right there. Basically, they have to find different things outside. So all this stuff is perfect for spring and summer. I also think putting a new bathing suit in your basket is really fun getting them excited for the summertime for pool days in the park so target already has a lot of bathing suits out they were so cute my kids definitely need some new bathing suits this year for the summer and spring for us to go to our neighborhood pool so they had a few different to choose from i like the ones that have like the long sleeves to protect them from the sun but they do have different options to choose from like i said they had so many really cute ones for both boys and girls And talking about the pool, I think pool accessories and like fun little toys for the kids to play in the pool is really fun as well. So the prices do range. So it just depends on how much money you guys like to spend on the kids Easter baskets. I think the cheapest thing I saw was maybe like $5 and then it went up to like 8 and 10 and more. But I think pool toys is really fun to add to their baskets as well. So now we are at the back of the Target. So Target for each like holiday usually will have a back wall full of stuff. So like Christmas, they all have like a back wall full of stocking stuffers. And obviously now for Easter is coming up, they have a wall full of like stocking stuffer ideas. So over here, they have pretty much everything and anything you can think of. Obviously it's gonna be more expensive up here or back here than the dollar spot, but there are a lot of affordable things over here as well. So they have chalk, they have bubbles, they have slime. They also have these markers. I'm gonna show you guys independent like pens and they're pretty much tattoos to like draw on your hands. They have whoopee cushions. They had candy. I didn't show you guys really candy because obviously every kid likes candy in their Easter baskets, but they also have like candies. But this is a tattoo gel pen. So I was telling you guys about 
not sure how well they work but i thought that was really cool and it was only five dollars they had a ton of stuff of the ryan's world i know my son loves this youtube channel ryan's world so they did have a few things from the ryan's world um, youtube channel I want to show you guys these bunny ears. Some are three dollars, but the six dollar ones are really cool because they lit up. If your kids leave these type of things on their head, I think that is really cute. And now I'm gonna show you guys a few of the baskets. So these are the baskets that will be a little more pricier than the ones that were in the dollar spot. They have so many really cute ones. I'm thinking about the getting the kids some new Easter baskets this year because I think they've had the same one for like the past three years. But they have a ton of different sizes to choose from. I'm definitely gonna show you guys some options at Walmart because I feel like Walmart had ones just as cute as these but for cheaper but target definitely did have some cute ones so the prices do range over here i think the cheapest ones i saw was around five or seven dollars and then they went up in price i also thought these were really cute basically it has like the first letter of their name and you can hang it on their basket that was really cute i also want to show you guys a few clearance items of toys i thought would be cute for kids easter baskets obviously a lot of these things are big so they might not fit in the basket but just to put next to the basket i think is really cute just because they are all really great prices or you could just stock up on stuff like this save next year for christmas or maybe a birthday or something but i did want to show you guys a few clearance priced items of toys just to show you guys you guys can get pretty cheap toys right now at target So that is going to end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I really hope I gave you guys ideas for your little ones. Let me know if you guys want more of an affordable one because this one I did show you guys a bunch of different stuff for all different prices. So if you guys want something that's a little more budget friendly, maybe I can go to Walmart and also Dollar Tree and show you guys those options because I know I can find a lot more cheaper stuff than what I showed you guys in today's video. And maybe that'll be like a frugal Friday video for you guys. So let me know if you guys want a part two that's budget friendly and I will film that for you guys so either way i hope i was still able to give you guys a few ideas today if you enjoyed today's video please remember to take a thumbs up and also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you haven't already i would love to have you a part of my youtube family i love you guys and i will see you guys next time bye